Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a crash course in basic editing in Adobe Premiere. So to get started I'm going to open up Premiere. And the first thing I want to do is just kind of give you guys an overview of some of the different panels that you are going to see and need when you first open up Adobe Premiere. So, the first thing is this sequence one down here. This is going to have multiple different layers or tracks. Um, it's going to have the main playhead and different increments of time marked out on it. Now, if you hold or if you press the tilde key, which is right next to your one key on any panel that's highlighted in yellow, it's going to open it up full screen. So, if we do that, you can see that we now get a better view of our our first sequence. So what we have here are basically three different video tracks, three different audio tracks, and then a master audio track. Now basically what these are, are they are kind of like layers, if you think about it in Photoshop, of video. So on video one you'll have your first layer of video, and then if you put something on two, it's going to be higher than video one, um, and so on. So if you ever need more than three video slots, which for most basic projects you probably won't, you can right click on any of them and click add track. And then you can take and add in a video track, an audio track, and it has some settings for um, more refined adding. And if you just click OK, you can see now we have video 4 and audio 4 added in. So the other thing that you're going to use probably the most frequently is going to be your main viewer up here. So this is up in my top right corner, and what this is is basically um, it allows you to take and watch your actual video. So that's pretty straightforward. Now the last thing um, that you're going to be using a lot are your tools. Um, I just have my toolbar over here, and specifically the razor tool. Alright, so the razor tool and just your general selection tool, so V and C on the keyboard, um, are going to be the tools that you're going to use the most. So to actually start um, giving you guys a little bit of uh, editing tips within Adobe Premiere, I'm just going to take and get some footage. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either double click in your project window, so you can see, just double click right in here and you can pull them up or you can take and move your window out of the way and I have my files right here and just drag them into that same area. So you can see it's imported those files, and now I can just take and get that squared back up. So now that I've done that, you can see that I have all my files right here. Now if I double click on any of these, on this little icon here, you can see it brings up the source video, and I can actually scrub through that um, without actually having to drag it into my project. This is just kind of a preview window that you can use to view any of your clips. So the footage I am using today um, is some stuff that I have from VidCon. You've probably seen it in some of my other tutorials. Um, this was VidCon like two years ago. Just some default stuff I have on my computer. So in order to actually start working with any of this, what we want to do is just take and drag it down onto our, um, our area here for editing. So I'm just going to take them and drag them right here from the library or the project files down onto my stage here. So the first thing um, you'll see is that I can take and move these around just by dragging with my selection tool and I have them all butted up right next to each other. Now the most basic thing for editing is going to be um, probably cutting clips and um, just basic editing um, as far as cutting. So what you can do in order to cut any clip is take and select it and you can take and when you move your arrow to the very end of the clip it'll change to a little red bracket with um, um, an arrow going left and right. You can take and basically drag your clip in and you'll see that now we have cut that clip successfully. Now if you do this you can take later on if you need more of that it retains the data and you can take it and extend it out to its original length. So I'm just going to undo that back to where we had it before. So another thing that you can do in order to cut stuff um, is grab your razor tool I had mentioned before. Now you can take and basically click anywhere on your clips in order to cut them. Um, sometimes I'll get my uh, playhead right here to exactly where I want it and then I'll just take and line the line of the razor tool up with the playhead and you can click and it'll cut it right there. So in order to delete we'll go back and select our selection tool. I'll click on that clip and then I can just hit delete on my keyboard in order to remove it. Now I can also take and you see that it has this gap here. Um, you can take and move these in and it'll snap usually um, if you have snap on in your settings or you can take and click on the space and delete it but there is one better way. If you take and make a cut like we had then select your clip and then you hold shift and delete it's going to do what's called a ripple delete, which means that it takes out the clip and any space that it creates. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing that um, because it will definitely speed up your workflow. So um, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, what we can do is take and say that we wanted to put a picture in a picture. We have our footage up here, which is actually kind of small, um, so we can scale this up if we would like. 
So I'm just going to scale this up. This was 1280 by 720, and the document that I have is um, in 1080p, so a little smaller than the video, but I can just scale that up, and it shouldn't really affect the quality too much for our little tutorial. So I can just scale those up. Now let's say that we wanted to have this second clip um, be a picture within this clip. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to expand this so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing is I'm going to take and basically split this layer onto video two. So I'm just holding and dragging and moving up and it's going to split that and I wanna make sure and put this one on audio two. So grab your audio and drag that down. Now you can open these up if you press the little um, basically collapse or expand the track button right there. Now the reason that you wanna put the audio down on another track is so that it doesn't cut into this audio when you move this clip around. So now you can see that these fit together basically. Um, this one is inside of this one. And if we weren't to do that, then this audio would cut off the other audio. Um, so you want to make sure that you keep them separate um, in most cases. So basically what we've done now um, is in the middle of this clip, we're basically cutting straight to this other clip. So um, I'm just going to take and show you right here. If we take and scale this one down, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. This is basically on top of this other one. So if you want to do a picture in a picture, like some kind of news show or something, you want to have another picture in the background um, while you're talking over here, then you could do that, um, and both of these would take and play um, at the same time, picture in a picture. Pretty sweet. So let's say that you didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to um, get that back to where it was. Let's say that we wanted to have a little bit more of a practical use. Um, so we're going to take and split this again. Now, the way that most times this is used is um, in cutting between, say, like an interview and um, B-roll or other clips. So most of the time when you watch an interview, especially if it's online, um, your attention span isn't that long. So you're going to want to cut between the interview and some other footage. So let's say that the person's talking along, talking along, and then you're going to take and cut to some footage. Now you want the audio of the original clip to continue on. So, so let's say that this video one clip is our interview and this other one on video two um, is what we want to cut to. So we want the audio of one to continue and we want to get rid of the audio on two. So there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, the first is to take and just turn off audio two. You can click this little mute button and it will completely turn off that entire track. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can take and specifically lower the audio on the, this clip um, by opening up the audio and then taking and we're going to need to see a little more. This yellow line right here and just dragging it down to where it says um, negative basically infinity decibels and that will lower the audio. You can also take and delete this if you want by unlinking it by right clicking on it and unlinking it. Click off and then you can delete it separately. So um, another way that you can do this is by going up into your audio mixer. If you hit the tilde key in order to open it up full screen, you can also take all of audio two and basically audio one and any of the other audio tracks within Premiere and adjust their entire volume um, separately. So if you wanted to raise the um, level of audio on an entire track, then you can take and do that within this um, window right here, this panel. So um, I think that's probably about it for this basic editing um, tutorial. Basically, um, there's one more thing actually that I wanted to show you. Um, I did want to show you a couple of transitions because most of the time um, you're going to run into a place where you don't want your clip to just jump cut, say from this um, airport footage right here straight to um, the highway right out of the airport. So you don't want it to just cut um, unless it makes sense within your video. So you might want to have a snazzy little transition. So one of the ways that you can do this is by going over to video transitions and your effects panel. Coming down and we're going to go to dissolve because those are some of my favorite and cross dissolve. Um, we're just going to take that and drag it in between our two clips. So now you can see that we have a nice fade from one to the other up in the upper right corner there for our video. So if you don't want this on there anymore, you can hold alt and zoom in by using your mouse wheel while holding alt. And I could just take and delete that transition off. Maybe we'll try a dip to black, which is usually good at the end as well. And you can see that now it's going to dip to black and then basically kind of fade in the next one. We can throw one of those on the end as well. So now at the very end of the video, it's going to dip to black which is definitely um, a very nice transition for the end. Um, let's say that we wanted to have it last longer for any transitions. You can just click on the transition and then extend the clip just like you would um, with an actual video clip. So I can just take and drag this out. Now you can see that we have a nice longer fade in here once it buffers. You can see that it takes a lot longer to fade out than it was previously. 
So um, those are a few of the basic transitions. You can take and look through this. There's a ton of these um, in the video transitions folder under effects. There's zooms and wipes and stretches and special effects and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so I just wanted to kind of make this video in order to get some of you guys started that might not be familiar with Premiere. Um, this is definitely um, a great editing program and anything I use um, for editing videos. So um, you can definitely cut between a lot of different tracks and layer things accordingly and there's a lot of different audio effects and everything in there. Um, but this should get you started in editing and doing some simple transitions. So it should at least get you up to um, the spot where you need to be for other more basic um, editing programs. Um, there's definitely a lot more that you can do but that will get you started. So hope you guys learned something in this tutorial even if you are a Premiere Pro. Um, so thanks for watching and um, make sure and check back and subscribe for next week's video tutorial. Thanks for watching.